What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about how often do Brits travel abroad? How common is it for Brits on average to travel outside of the UK and expand their horizons by vacationing or traveling to another country? I actually think this is a very, very interesting topic because it highlights a massive difference between American culture and kind of British culture, in that, from what I can tell, it's fairly common for a British person to have traveled abroad somewhere during their life, or even several times a year, maybe, or once or, once or twice a year, in complete contrast, at least, you know, from my anecdotal experience, in America, it's a big deal for someone to travel outside of the United States and go to another country unheard of. That's like a huge journey, like once, twice in a lifetime for some people, for some Americans, never. And I know some, it ha some of it has to do with geography, like America is physically located next to certain countries and can't really easily travel to Europe. Like, whereas the UK, you can kind of hop on a plane and, and travel somewhere. And it doesn't take that long to get to a really different European country. So that must have a lot to do with it. But don't just take my kind of anecdotal thought process for it. I found an article that talked about how much people travel in America versus the UK. And it, it was amazing. It said only 30% of Americans have a passport. And most of that is because uh, they passed a law in 2007 where Americans needed a passport to travel to Canada or to Mexico. That's a huge majority of where Americans are traveling outside of the U.S. So even with that, only 30% of Americans have a passport at all. In contrast to the U.K., man, what was it? Um... In the United Kingdom, this number is three-fourths of the population. 75% of people in the UK have a passport and are able to travel abroad. Americans aren't even prepared to be able to do it uh, because it's just not something that's very common in our culture. I don't know why. So I thought it'd be fun to learn a little more about the British point of view on traveling and, and traveling abroad and holiday and that stuff and how much it happens, because it's something that doesn't happen that much in America. It, it's really interesting. So someone on Reddit started a, a discussion asking, how many times do you go ab abroad per year, people who live in the UK? And they said, my brother, my parents, my brother, my sister-in-law, and other assorted family members are on their third foreign holiday this year. Okay, so if it, man, if it was someone in the United States, an American, going on their third holiday of the year, that would mean they are rich. Like, I'd be like, what, how are you getting off work for this? How are you affording this? this is a, like, something would be kind of extraordinary in that circumstance. Now, maybe that's true for British people as well, but three times a year, that's crazy. They are in Crete. What is Crete? I actually don't, that's how worldly I am. What is Crete? It, it's an island in Greece. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, see? All these perks to being like located in Europe. <laughs> you get to go places in Europe. Makes sense. Uh, I, however, have not been abroad in 10 years. Okay, so the original poster here is saying, my family, they go abroad three times a year. I haven't been abroad in 10 years. So I, I'd like to know more examples of this. How often British people are going abroad. I was talking to my cousin, and she seemed to think it was weird that she hadn't been on holiday abroad in three years. Why am, am I abnormal? I would love to go away, but am I weird for not being able to? Is it common to have a holiday in a foreign country once a year? That's, the, that's kind of the crux of this. That's the question. Is it common for Brits to have a visit a foreign country once a year? Is that about the number? I'd love to hear more about this. So this person says, I simply can't fathom 
how some people have no interest in going abroad. Ah, they didn't really answer the question that I was hoping for, but it definitely makes it sound like they go abroad quite a bit. And they're actually talking about the interest in going abroad. And I can relate that back to the United States as I like to do. It's funny because it seems like in American culture, growing up as a child, like the rest of the world is kind of taught to us as this far away exotic place over there. And we're the United States and we're over here. And if we're going to do any traveling, we're probably going to travel inside the United States and or visit another state. I guess that's a whole other thing. The, the United States is gigantic. It's enormous. It's enormous. There's 50 states. Sometimes states can be almost feel like they're as different from each other as different countries or something. So we kind of have our own little world over here that could take your entire life to explore all the United States. So I think that's a big, that's a, a has a really big impact on how Americans perceive vacation and traveling. A lot of the times we're like, hey, maybe we'll just travel somewhere cool in the United States. That's It's cheap, it's easier, it's faster, it's right here. And there's just not as much emphasis, especially early on in our lives as Americans, on expanding our horizons on, hey, let's travel somewhere, let's get exposure to another foreign country, somewhere that's really different, like a European country. No one really, that's, that's just considered some kind of luxury, some kind of thing that you don't even think about or talk about very much, and it's really rare when it does get brought up. It's a big deal. But then, us Americans kind of get later in life as adults, and we finally start thinking, it takes a while, into your 20s or 30s or longer, uh, and for many people, they don't travel outside the United States ever, or maybe once, and it's a big deal when they're older. We, we get older as Americans, and it seems like something clicks, and we're finally like, we should check out that UK, or that, you know, we should check out Germany, or Japan, or something. Like, it finally dawns on us. But for some reason, it's just not something very common or talked about or suggested here. I, I don't quite know why. I guess the biggest reason I can think of is that we're really far away from stuff. That might be the reason. Um, I love the idea of going abroad and really enjoy it when I do. But I grew up pretty poor and holidays feel like a waste of money. So this I could see being a really, really big determining factor for Brits on if they can go on these three holidays, three uh, journeys abroad per year, or maybe one, it costs money. Like, even though you are closer to stuff, to a lot of other countries, uh, it costs money, and not everyone can do it. Not everyone has the budget, literally. Okay, what else do we have here? I, I, I'd like to hear some, some examples of people talking about how often they personally travel abroad as, Brit, as a Brit. That, that's what I'm hoping for. Haven't been abroad since 2019. I know people who have never left the UK and have no desire to. I know people who have multiple foreign holidays a year. There's no right or wrong. It's just what the circumstances allow. Okay, so here's the difference. There are pl There is probably a, maybe a majority, maybe not, a lot of Americans who don't have a massive interest in traveling abroad and they're perfectly happy not to for their entire life. Some Americans never fly on a plane. I know people who never fly, have never flown on a plane or traveled really at all, and that's not, not unheard of. But the other thing I want to point out here about this comment is they, they say that I know people who have multiple foreign holidays a year. That is not, that is not something you run into in most Americans. I don't know anybody who has multiple foreign holidays per year, journeys abroad per year. So just the fact that that exists in Britain is a massive difference. Now there's, I'm sure there's some like super wealthy people around me that I don't know that go on holiday, multiple foreign holidays a year, but that is incredibly rare, incredibly rare. I'm, I, I can't quite tell how rare it is in the UK yet. Uh, currently living abroad, but when I was in England, I lived near Lutton Airport, so I'd try to get 
cheap flights every other month to see a European city for the weekend. See, that's insane. That's crazy. I mean, insane in the best way. Like, that's amazing. What an amazing opportunity. It, I, I'm starting to understand that this really all has to do with the UK's proximity, closeness to all these other European countries. That's what it is. So a flight from like the UK to somewhere in France or Germany, I, now I'm interested how much does that cost? That's what it's kind of boiling down to. Seems like it's, it's pretty affordable for people to, to journey to other countries around Europe. That's what, that's what it is. It's a lot more affordable and therefore a lot more common. Um, I could usually do this for 30 quid. How much is 30 quid? Hold up. We're getting somewhere. 30 quid. 37 bucks? Wait a minute. Hold on. I could do this for 30 quid. $37. U US. Return flights? 50 is on somewhere to stay for the night. That's, wow. That's amazing. I think for an American to, to fly to Europe, basically anywhere, would be at least $1,000, I would think. $1,000 or more, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, oh my gosh. I would either book Friday off and return Sunday, plus about $50 for stay. Uh, wow, okay. That, this is starting to explain it. There's definitely more people in Britain, like population-wise, percentage of the population that's traveling abroad every year and it's because it's not as expensive it's a lot easier it's kind of like it's almost more comparable to how often do americans travel around the united states all the time Pe americans do it all the time americans love to travel around the united states a uh, very very common thing to do for a vacation or a getaway that's basically what it that's like how i should view it as Europeans traveling around Europe. I guess. Is that fair to say? I feel like I feel like that's fair to say. <laughs> I don't know. Um, five or six times. Wow. So this person travels abroad five or six times per year. And they say we are not loaded. Two incomes, no kids. Makes it possible for us. Wow. Okay, they don't have children, so that makes a pretty big difference. Five or six times per year? How do you even have off work that much? I feel like that's a, a really American thing to say. To be like, how are you even getting off work? Because American <laughs> employers in America are pretty harsh with the, t the vacation time. We don't get very much compared to other countries. So I'm like, how is this even possible? Let alone the money. And it's like, wow. People are out here in Britain actually traveling abroad five or six times a year like once every two months, uh, and they, they claim to not be rich. You'd have to be super rich in America to do this, for sure. It's one of my indulgences. I'm not fussed about clothing, shoes, bags, jewelry, hobbies. Okay, so traveling is kind of this person's hobby. So they, they, they sounds like five or six is a lot, even for a, a British individual. Five or six times a year, that's a lot. So that's not average. But just the fact that that's possible is amazing to me. It is neither weird, not, it is neither weird not to be able to leave or weird to be able to leave. Everyone likes different things and can afford different things. I'm hearing a lot of that. I'm hearing a lot of like, well, it just depends on the, the British person in question. Some like, per, like to travel. It's pretty accessible to travel abroad from the UK. So they do it. And some doesn't really matter that much, so they don't. So, wow. Wow. Makes sense when you kind of think about it for a sec. And lay it out. We like to go abroad for the culture, food, history, architecture. We've probably been every year or two before children. And are hoping to go every three, three years or, or so now. So, so this is kind of an average Brit, I think. We've probably been abroad every year or two. And with children, maybe we'll go every three years. I feel like that's pretty representative statements of the average Brit. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Wow, I, honestly, this all makes me think about how useful this would be if this was, if more Americans could do this, basically. Uh, if Americans could travel abroad more, unfortunately, it's very expensive. It takes a long time for us to fly anywhere. When I say abroad, you know, I guess we could go 
guess Americans could fly the other direction, west, and go to Japan and Asia. Uh, or Americans could eh, travel to Australia is very far away. So that's why I keep kind of ref referencing Europe. When most Americans say I'm traveling abroad, I'm going on vacation over overseas, it's Europe. It's going to be somewhere in Europe. So, uh, man, I actually think it's so healthy and beneficial to the British population that uh, a large part of the British population travels abroad and gets uh, exposure to all these different cultures and stuff. I, I'm really quite envious of that, and I think it would help the United States as a whole. It would help Americans and our culture and our perspective if we were able to physically travel places. I feel like that's why Americans are kind of known for not knowing stuff about other cultures. That has a lot to do with it. We do a pretty bad job of exposing ourselves to other cultures, uh, even on the internet and stuff. I try to, you know, counteract that a little bit myself. But yeah, if we could physically visit it easily and cheaply, that'd be great. So I think it's super cool. Brits travel abroad, like, fairly often. You know, these are all generalizations, but I feel like I have a, a lot better picture of this question and this topic. So I, I enjoyed this a lot, quite a bit, uh, actually. Opened my eyes a bit. So if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with your personal experience uh, of how often you get to travel abroad or how often you see people around you traveling abroad, and that'd be interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to British culture and stuff about Britain I have never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.